Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a routine fecal emulsification, but sometimes in a routine case, we may have a lot of struggles. We have started the surgery. The main incision has been placed at around 11 o'clock. Visco is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and Visco is applied over the corneal epithelium. This is 2% HPMC. And now one side port is being made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away. And in this case I have done only one side port. Now capsulorexis. The capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, uterata forceps. All these steps are just like any other case, just like a routine case, which we have done thousands of times. And now, hydro dissection is being done after expressing out some visco. Hydro delineation is attempted, but no golden ring formed in this case. And now, some more visco. Now the tip of the feco needle is introduced. Here it is. The exposed part of the tip is not much because this is a soft cataract. Nuclear sclerosis in this case is about grade 2 plus or maybe grade 3. It's a pretty routine case. And the nucleus rotates very nicely. Now I turn the handpiece, make the bevel up. The bevel of the tip of the phaco needle is made up now. And now I try to bury the tip and I find that I am not able to hold the nucleus. So what I did is I used the sculpt mode and made a trench. And the central part of the trench is quite deep now. We can see the red glow. But as I try to divide the nucleus, it didn't happen. Probably because the trench was only in the central part. The trench was not from one uh, rexus margin to another rexus margin. It was just a central deep trench. Now I try to hold here and made a crack, uh, made a chop, but it was not a complete crack, through and through crack. I inject visco and now I try to prolapse the nucleus by rotation, it didn't happen. And now I go again and trying to hold the nucleus at another place and trying to chop the nucleus but I find it dangerous. At this time I reduced the vacuum from 400 to 300 still I could not hold the lens mass. So I inject some visco and now my idea is to prolapse the nucleus now by hydro dissection and one equator, one side of the equator, the right side has prolapsed out of the nucleus. Now I am planning to go behind this prolapsed part and start emulsifying the lens in the tilted position. But see, as soon as I go, the lens mass goes in the capsular bag. So I come out again, inject visco a little more and now my plan is to orient the lens mass in this way. Now the prolapsed equator is from, prolapsed part of the equator is from 
3 o'clock to 7 o'clock and now my plan is to go behind the nucleus by the chopper support the nucleus in this way and now go in so that the nucleus will not go in the capsular bag and now here it goes in tilted position I start eating off the lens mass and I find that though the nucleus is soft the fibers are sticky and however in tilted position of the lens any soft cataract can be managed safely without any risk of posterior capsular rent the tip of the FACO handpiece must be kept always at the iris plane must there must be a space between the corneal endothelium and the FACO handpiece and now the uh, cortical cleanup is done by this Simco the sub incisional cortex is removed by the Simco going through the side port. In this case, I made only one side port, so I cannot use a bimanual irrigation aspiration. And this is hydro implantation of a uh, hydrophobic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens is dialed, the lens goes in the capsular bag. And the lens is nicely settled in the capsular bag. This is moxifloxacin. Now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound. And now we are done. The This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium is nicely removed. The antechamber is nicely formed. And the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. So even in a very much routine surgery, we can have a lot of struggles. In soft cataracts, if we can tilt the nucleus and if we support the nucleus with a chopper from behind if we support the posterior surface of the cataractus lens mass and we use the peconidal to start eating off the lens mass at the iris plane any soft cataract can be conquered thank you very much for your attention